Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a um, picking my September TBR. This is my TBR shelf and then I have a couple of nonfiction books down here that are still are that are a part of this. They're just in my nonfiction shelf and I have been seeing all over YouTube that people use a TBR jar to pick their um, next month's reads. Um, I had this little Starbucks cup laying around so I had the lid for it and shook it up and I put some prompts in there, um, got in some inspiration from some other people, um, just watched literally a ton of TBR ones to see what other people were picking and added in my own. So. Um, I'm going to use this to pick my TBR and I'll just stack my books here. Um, but first, I have um, these two books were ones that I wanted to read in August. This one I'm about halfway through, so um, I am going to finish it in September. So I'm going to add that to my stack because I'm partly through it. King and the Dragonflies is one that I also wanted to read in August. So I think I might roll this one over um, to my September. And so my thoughts are I'm going to pick five books to add to this stack um, out of my little jar here. So let's get started. Okay, my first prompt is part of a series. So let's see, what do I have that's part of a series? Um, I have this one. This one might be my only one. So The Lightning Thief um, is part of the Percy Jackson series. So we will put that one on our stack. I don't think any of the rest of them are part of a series that I have on here right now. Our next prompt is book that ends in an odd number of pages. So I'm gonna have to go through these really quick and see what I have. Okay, I think I'm going to pick between these two books, The Seven Hus Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and The Late Comer. Um, this one has 437 pages. And The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, I think said 385. 385. I think I'm going to go with The Late Comer. Um, because right now it looks like I have, so I have some like young adult middle grade books on here. So I think I'm going to go for a little bit more of a hefty book and my nonfiction book I'm halfway through. So we'll do that. So this one, I'll just set this one back here for now and I'll put it back in its spot. Wait, okay. Next prompt, prompt number three, newest book. So that's going to be one of the ones that I picked up for free off my free table. I think, oh, actually my newest book on my shelf is Cold Hands, Warm Heart. This one came in the mail the day after I picked up all of those free books. So again, another like middle grade um, young adult book I, this one might be young adult. I'm actually really excited to reread this book. Um, okay, prompt number four. A young adult book. Okay, I have a lot of those. Um, let's go with, let's go with Uprising. This one is about the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory Fire. Um, I know this is young adult because I got it from my school when they were giving away books. So we have that. And prompt number five. Book that has been on my shelf for over a year. That's quite a few of these. Let's see. 
Dictionary Wars or Greeks. I'm going to go with, or I could go with one of my nonfiction ones. I think I'm going to go with Evicted by Matthew Desmond. This one has been on my bookshelf since 2016. So I am going to add that one to my shelf. So that's my five prompts for this month. We'll go over my books plus my rollovers. Add this one back in. So my books for the month of September that I want to read are Evicted by Matthew Desmond, Poverty and Profit in the American City, um, Uprising by Margaret Peterson Haddix, Cold Hands, Warm Heart by Jill Wolfson, The Latecomer by Jean um, Hanif Korolts, Korolts? Did not pronounce that one right. Um, the Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. And then my rollovers are King and the Dragonflies by Kaysen Collender and The Fabric of the Cosmos by Brian Green. So that is my stack of books for September that I want to get through. Um, this was actually really fun to kind of pick and choose and then narrow it down because sometimes when I get to the end of a book, I'm unsure of what I want to pick next. So this has been very fun to do and I'll probably add some more prompts to my jar as I go. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.